<laughs> oh, game. Hi, welcome to this show. This show is called Right Shit Down with a Beretta, where I um, interview different people and uh, see how they write shit down. Writing shit down is an important um, skill that I think people should develop in the creative field and even uh, business people, science people. It's very interesting how to see what kind of uh, thought patterns they lay out on paper. So that's the whole concept of the series. We'd like to um, invite a lot of other people, see how they think on paper or maybe digitally, but it's really how they write shit down. So today, our my first guest is my foot foot. Foot foot! The original Tita Show Show. <laughs> my fat little sister, the little Donisor. Si Dora the Explorer na naligaw sa buffet. <laughs> Where are we going, buffet? Where are we going, buffet? <laughs> oh, hi guys, my name is Tony and I am a cook by profession. <laughs> but also a frustrated artist, artist and um anything creative is like something that I try to do. I love DIYs. I also love doing song covers. I'm just the most random girl ever. But yeah, creativity is in my blood. Creative, uh, her expertise is in uh, creative eating. <laughs> Where she finds uh, creative excuses to start eating again. <laughs> <laughs> She's an uh, a uh, ref artisan, refrigerator artisan. <laughs> si Donna ang ano? Si Donna ang maricondo ng refrigerator. <laughs> If I eat this, will it I will eat? I will no. clean your fridge. <laughs> <laughs> If I eat this, will it spark joy? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take out everything from your fridge <laughs> and put it in my tummy. <laughs> Ayun. So, see, you you have been uh, doing uh, journaling for how long now? Uh, I wouldn't say for so long, but like maybe about three years now. Or yeah, like it's it's hard to. I'm still a newbie. Like I. I just tried it out like maybe three three years ago and yeah, but it's it's hard to maintain it when I still have my day job. So it's like, you know, I, I just do it when I have the time or like if I travel. So I like do journal, like travel journal and all that. Well, journaling is writing basically, but then people have been, people, artists have been, really becoming creative and now there's a like creative journaling and I remember when I was still young I used to do scrapbooking so it's like now people incorporate incorporate journaling and scrapbooking together now there's creative journalings where you can doodle you can draw you can write your thoughts write what happened like during that day or in the week or when you travel if you want to write something down that you want to Remember, like you can jot down memories, jot down your experiences. Like you can, you know, write your heart out, and then you can have pictures, um, ephemeras, and you know, souvenirs from your travels and stuff, or even your day. So, like even a receipt <laughs> when you buy something Today, and make it creative. I went to the grocery. <laughs> I bought chips. I went home. I ate the chips. Good day. A Polaroid of the chips. <laughs> Why not? Pero, what's what's the yeah sure sure uh the whole point of it is like really um trying to capture uh your experience no and uh, applying creative ways to it. Uh, 
know uh, there are a lot of ways to capture it pero before we go into that I'd I'd like to ask um what how do you usually this is the problem when people try to you know write shit down they're they're overly critical of what they write so it depends it, it even if it's not a journal entry even if it's a um you know just a uh kind of post diba they, they have it, people have a hard time composing their thoughts because they're hypercritical of what people will think so 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 the, my question is for you is this like uh do you show other people your journal is there is, is that part of the intention well sort of yeah like there are journals that i can say that you know like I'm, are more like private and there are also journals that i can freely you know like scrapbooking like a photo book Or like a photo album, right? Before, like there are yeah, yeah. there are like your your photos, like photos that you don't want to really like share, but there mm-hmm. are also like pictures you want people to see, like your visitors or like family. So it's it's basically like that, um, same as journaling because there are also people that write their their thoughts that they don't want to share. Like mm-hmm. people journal mm-hmm. just for for themselves to express what they're feeling that moment. You know, and there are also people that write for others to to read or you know do creative journaling for others to see. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's basically like that. Like for me also, I I have a journal that I can let others see, and I a journal that I don't really share. So yeah. Yeah, at least it's that's the you know just. Just because I'm curious, because um, although some people are uh not really into creative journaling, uh, what we're trying to um share to people is the idea that uh, writing shit down as an exercise is you know, it's good for you because it's actually a way w- where you are actually refining uh information data that you get like from your senses, you hear, you process it through your you know. Who you are, basically, because you're that's that's who you are as the filter, and the beauty of it is you actually, you know, capture those thoughts, refine it further through creative means, and that's what that that's the process that interests me. Because for me personally, especially with um uh, a lot of the business people, business community. Um, peers that I ha- that I interact with, the usual and also the corporate trainings. The usual thing I always say is that it's important to you know find a way to do that, like write write shit down, because that's how you refine. For me, it's a uh, it's a helpful process because I create um, uh, stories or presentation decks or even uh, marketing models. The best way to really go about this is it is is through, you know, a form of journaling. It's more it's like uh, mind mapping, mind mapping naman siya. Okay, so yeah, so that's interesting. So people can use it for many many reasons, and it's pretty much yeah yeah that that's a good idea. It's pretty much like Facebook. Basically, what we're doing on Facebook is the um, digital version, analog yung version ng parang scrapbooking where we collect pictures, curate them, uh, you know, and then arrange them in albums, share it to different people. So yeah, when you think about it, um, Facebook in a way is not really a very you know, it's not a new idea. The the inter the the, the um, The activities captured there are actually what pe- what people like you do in real life, but with like um physical stuff like stickers. So some use ano pa no, mga calligraphy. Yeah. So you 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 get to collect pens and and I think this is an opportunity in terms naman na ba, no? uh, some people write it like you know. If you observe how they write and how they organize their thoughts, I think the mere ex- the mere choice of expressing expressing the content through the medium is already something 
telling of the person. Okay, interesting. No? So what do you use? You usually use for your journaling. I use pen and paper and stickers. Do you have um, a notebook? Yeah, I do have a journal. Special journal. Yeah, I, sometimes I like DIY them. Like I make my own journal. Or when I started, I just bought like uh, a notebook, like a journal, and then like along the way, it's like. Because I, I'm very critical <laughs> with my, like, when I journal, it's like, I want it to look, like, almost perfect. <laughs> or, like, you know, something that people would want to see. Or, like, even myself would really want to look back on. But it's like, I'm just very critical at first. Like, I was too hard on myself. And so, like, not, a lot of journals really didn't work, like not enough space or the size isn't right yeah, yeah like yeah. oh it's a design or like my my penmanship or the pens don't work on the kind of paper so mm. that's there's a lot of things to consider mm. and so one time i think that for this year actually i did my own um journal i i made my own journal like the size i wanted like i yeah. considered oh if i travel i can bring it with me but yeah i it it matters like it's it's up to the the person that's gonna journal like to to choose what kind of journal what kind of pins what their um their style in journaling is because yeah. uh, a lot of people like cute stuff a lot of a lot mm. of people like the vintage you know vintage theme so oh, yeah the shoes. <laughs> fountain pen jola jola <laughs> Mga... But yeah, I, I say it, it's a, it's a long-standing. Ano naman eh. I mean, it, it it comes from you know ca- writing calligraphy. You mga monks, they you know rewrite and rewrite and rewrite the gospel, adding you know creativity to it. It's 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 long a bit long culture being passed on. It's nice that it's picking up. Uh so yours is cute, you know. Very we very funny because for me, I actually have the the opposite value when it comes to my uh think books. I I I think they're more like think books for me. When I map out my thought patterns, what I find doing is making them cryptic. So you know, if someone looks at it. <laughs> They will they they will see like oh this is some serious like you know this serious thought mm-hmm. pattern into this, pero hieroglyphics so yun sang nila. It's it's diba? there's this that charm yeah. there's that charm to it. Problem is minsan I I I when I look at it, I'm like, what 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 the fuck what the fuck what the fuck you writing shit what the shit what the shit you writing about? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a common thing that happens. But so far I, I I've yeah I've parang I've slowly zoned in into a style and uh, technique and also the materials that I like. Very simple. I like the standard notebook with the uh, dots lang instead of the, the lines. Mm, yeah. Like so it doesn't limit you. And uh, but that's still there's the guidelines. And I found out that I, I I just have one pen that I like. I prefer a OG pencil. Na <laughs> Mongol two, shampre. <laughs> Mongol two. OG and uh but I like this one. I like this one so much. It's the uh, it's a pilot oh, no, it's a yeah, pen tell. Yeah, a Pentel Energel. Mm. It's a ball needle point pen. I la- I'm gonna get. I, I like like um similar pens, but not the really fat ones. Yung parang mas sharp yung ano niya. Mm. Like that. There's a feeling when you write. And what else? Uh, for me, bonus, red fat. Sure. <laughs> oh, it's so ugly, chocolate. Wow, I think this is, but I didn't get to finish it. But this is one of my journal. Like this is when, <laughs> like I just started trying journaling or creative journaling, and it's like really messy. Like it's a lot of like 
Cute okay. stuff. Uh, so it's just a journal. Like I just saw this, and then like, oh, it's a nice journal. And I just hid it there, and then it's it's a blank page journal. So it's just like that. Like I wrote. <laughs> like it's really messy. I'm not even proud of it. But <laughs> I said, what? Where did okay. you get the? Uh, is that all stickers? But the tangal yung. Summer, ano? No, it's it's this style. Oh, ayan, aray, aray. Oh, yeah. There, like, see? So you can put there. Mm-hmm. So it's like there's words hidden there. Oh, you mm-hmm. know. Oh, so it's like, yeah. Then they can put a picture, a Polaroid. There. So that was. What, where do you get the material? Where do I get what? Where do you get the materials? I buy them. Ano, I buy them online or here, or if I go to Philippines. <laughs> Ma- so these for, are uh, stickers. For, stickers. Yeah, stickers or like ephemeris or like paper mm-hmm. that I just cut out and make it. So you, no. you know, you can do this like digitally, right? For yeah, sure. but <laughs> the fun. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, no. But, but yeah, that's that's the thing I'm I'm interested because the same process. Because um, just to explain to the people who are watching this, uh, Donna and I have a very different approach to our creative um, uh, create ventures. She goes about uh things very personally, like uh, she, yeah. I, I go about my my business uh very uh I don't know pre- analytical in, in in some way but I I like planning it out like thinking it out pero si si ano dona and she puso 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 and also brain no <laughs> Puso ng mataba. No, yeah, it's something that <laughs> I know. I appreciate because people don't really give uh that much. Well, you 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 get to a certain age, and especially in business, people don't really give much attention to you know how they present things. Like the PowerPoint sucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like the worst presentation over and over again. But uh, but my, but my point is, um, there are a thousand ways to communicate. Uh, good ideas or even good intention because at for the, at this level there's not really much information you know you put into a page it's just you know a day in a way it's just you know a day in your life but 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 just like how people who use you know poetry and colorful words would describe their day Uh, I think that's how I would I would say how I see what you you guys are doing. So pag nasunog kayo pag wow. nasunog kayo, <laughs> dahil sa mga <laughs> fire truck. Pag kailangan ng fire, kailangan niyo kami joke. <laughs> Kasalanan niyo. So uh, Yeah, tell us about your ano, uh, your business in relation to this journey. Wait, this one will not because this is the nice oh, one. Oh, so good. Show me the nice one. What's so nice about this the nice actually, one? This is actually the journal that I DIY. Mm, yeah, that, that's... With, that's like, nice. scrap materials that I have. So, yeah, I, I made it because I felt like I wanted the size, but I want it where I can pull out the pages if, yeah. you know, I mess up. Or like if it gets dirty, so sure. and then yeah, all these are like also like stickers from from artists that I or artists or journalists that I follow. Like this is actually from a magazine magazine that mm. I went. So I I'm like I recycled it. It's by um ABC. It's actually known in the Philippines for also journaling. One of my inspirations also. Mm. Um. So yeah, I just I'm like I'm not gonna waste it. So I just put it. This is also like inspired by her journal. So I did this, and then her stickers also. Some of her stickers, and then yeah, um, this is like, and in this like journal, you can see that compared to the other one where it's like more um minimal, mm. minimal stickers. Mm. Yeah, it's like more vintage. Feel. more more writings I guess also 
So yeah, it my 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 um style change really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like Ganda. I got older, it's like, oh I want a clean page where I can write more. Less less stickers or like stickers that are not so bright, you <laughs> know. So yeah. Yeah, so you, yeah, it it shows like a shift in your um priorities. Yeah, so you get all oh, you get yeah. thoughts. You want to capture more of those thoughts. So yeah, and then eventually you get to you know my my level, insanity level. Wow. Ugly fix. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, t- tell us about your shop. Since uh, how, how did you? Oh uh, my shop! Hmm. How I started my shop. <laughs> yeah, what, what's what is your so shop I, all about? Well, my shop is also called Little Donisor. Mm-hmm. Um, it's on Etsy. It's a sticker shop, and um, it also happened because of my love for journaling. So it's like because I love journaling, I I wanted stickers. Um, because sometimes there are stickers that. I want, but you know, there's it's too expensive to buy, or like there's nothing here where I live. So it's like, oh, maybe one day, but you know, um, it's the machine, the cutter, the cutter, um, is expensive, the printer, and then now that I um have the um the money to buy, then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And it also started with me um doing um my art account on Instagram and then I'm like okay I, I want to make or sell stickers or at least try so that's why I did it and then I made stickers I made art and it made stickers and it was a fun process and now I finally launched my um HD sticker shop and I, I, I basically just sell, sell stickers for now but I'm looking to expand like Maybe sell like more art prints or even like um, clay pins mm. or like more more um, handmade goods or like you know um, made out of like what I can create like my art and all that. So yeah, it's on Etsy. It's called Little Dinosaur, and it's the same for my Instagram account. It's also at Little Dinosaur and. From my YouTube, also it's Little Donisor, so yeah. Yeah, so you guys okay, check you that guys out. Can check it out, <laughs> Little Donisor. If you need useless shit <laughs> <laughs> for your journals, <laughs> for your journals. But yeah, um, what, what, no, you should have content. Here, my new sticker. Oh shoot! You should have. You should have journaling. This is actually for next year. For you 2021. Have to, you have to blog it. Dona. Make your journal. Vlog. Vlog. It, blog. Vlog. Blog. Blog. Oh, right. Like, write. Yeah. It has to be written. You have to I'm write. Bad at writing. You have, you, have, you, have, you, know, you don't have to write about, like, you know, your blog. You just have to write about, you know, your process. Hmm. You're gonna say it anyway. You might as well vlog it first. I can vlog it. Pwede rin. Pero mas maganda nga siya i-vlog kasi mas nahahanap ng search engine. Really? Yeah. So any, ano, ano pa ba? Any questions? So yeah, that was uh, creative journaling. That's what we're gonna feature right now. Thank you very much, Donna Marie, my little foot foot. Uh for uh, introducing us to um, your journaling process and um, what a colorful way to, you know, that's a colorful way of uh, going through and appreciating life. Sounds, it sucks. (laughs) The Grinch. (laughs) But yeah. To look back on. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing too. Most one of, one of the most important things nga, na we're trying to um uh the same way because we do with the websites, we do the um we we kind of sell the idea of like the website as basically a digital, you know, scrapbook, a journal, 
of you know whatever you're doing mm-hmm. if you're you're an architect so you know you you want if you're if you're you know 30 years in practice you kind of want to like just document what you've done it's not really like promoting it or whatever it's just that you have you know for posterity it's like keeping a, a an album of the sites that you had things you've worked on yeah yeah so that's one way of looking at it sorry from you know so thank you very much for joining me tonight magsasaing pa ako ay nagsaing na pala si Angelia <laughs> I don't know. Eh, ikaw na magsangag. Last na sinangag ko, it was a disaster. 